Did you want to take care of anything before going back to Sindri's? No. First, we retrieve Mamir. Then you can tell us what you learned in Asgard. After that, we shall see. You really do think of him as a brother. What about Freya? Seems like she moved in while I was away. Once she turned her hatred back to Odin, she recognized our interests were aligned. Huh. I tried convincing her of that, but... When was that? Oh. Before I started telling you where I was that night. I see. Hey, she didn't kill me. I said nothing. So sorry, he's off cleaning up all the damage Garm did. Yeah, try back soon, yeah? <laughs> Jerk. You're back. How did it go? We should travel us no further. Well, that's our bloody relief. So you put down old Garm, did you? Yeah. Sort of. Atreus, your decision to go to Asgard after all he's put us through. I'll never understand it. But I hope you at least came back with something we can use. I hope so, too. Come on, let me show you what Odin's up to. Here's what he cares about most. More than Ragnarok or anything is this mask. Anyone recognize it? That thing? Ugh, oh, it's a dead end. He's been faffing around with that since before I knew him. To be honest, I thought the giants were just having a laugh with that one. Okay, fine. No. You're wrong, Mimir. This mask is no fraud. The giants didn't make it, and only a few of them ever glimpsed it in their visions. They never knew its origin, but some believed it was a way to gaze into the secrets of creation itself. Is it an oracle? Much, much more. Imagine becoming one with a source of infinite knowledge. This? This is why Odin tortured me. So what do you think? Know it? No. It's one obsession he never saw fit to share with me. But I'll tell you this. Even when Odin speaks the truth, his purpose is false. Either way, it's a mistake to let it distract us. Is Heimdall our focus or not? We will rewrite our fate another way. Then I'm going back to Vanaheim. If we're not taking the fight to Odin, I should help my brother stand against him. We will join her when we can. I'm gonna study my notes on the mask, see if I can think of a plan. But if you want to go anywhere, I'm with you. And listen, everyone, I'm really sorry about the way I left. You know I've never hurt any of you on purpose. Well, when you can turn into a bear by accident, I suppose these things can happen. So, do you forgive me? Of course, Atreus. We know you meant no harm, lad. Sindri? I'm sure I will. Eventually. Okay. Guess I'll take it. While we're clearing the air, I hope that I can be forgiven for not doing more when the Hellwalkers attacked. Whatever reservations I have about violence, they shouldn't apply when your home is under attack. And certainly not by undead abominations. 
Yet I reached for a shield instead of a sword. You are right to chide me for that, old friend. The next time the moment calls me, I'll be ready. Well said, Tiara. I believe you just might. Your axe looks overdue for a good hammer. Give her here. This will be of use. You are well. Take more than a port full of bone John stiffs to keep me down. What am I gonna do? Walk around with a bandage on my head, begging for attention? I was mauled by a bear. Nudged, more like it. Sure, I'm open. Brother, before we check on Freya, is there any unfinished business in other realms you wanted to take care of? I'm sure the lad would love to help. And the kid? Don't forget, you can always whack them with it. What are you looking for? What about your boy? You know what you want?
I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Hey, wait! We're with you. Actus Fartofam, huh? We still have unfinished business there. We still have to find Durlan's missing hammer. Sounds good. I thought he said he'd be at the tavern if we needed him. As I recall, I was about to relate the story of the Heath Witches, who overthrew a government using only deceptive prophecies. They picked an influential thane, an otherwise loyal man, and fed him a story of his own ascension to king. They dressed it up in enough details they knew would come to pass, so when they did, the thane took it as confirmation. Next thing you know, he's helping matters along. He murders his king, sleeping under his own roof. Murders many he once called friends, too, thinking them fated to oppose him. Then, for a finishing touch, the witches revisit this usurper. With just a few details structured ever so misleadingly, they convinced the fool he was invulnerable to all threats. Physical or magical? Aye, aye, but was not so for him. All turned into a rather magnificent bloodbath as they go, the thane ends up without his head Enough. and a knee. We will continue later. If memory serves, 
We're heading in the right direction to find that large dwarven statue. Dunlan's hammer shouldn't be far behind. <laughs> Dragon sculpture is not bad. That dragon sculpture is not bad. That dragon sculpture is not bad. Not the first time someone's told me that, I suppose.
Is someone there? Please. I need help. What do you want? Well, to put it simply, treasure. The cash just over there, to be precise. My son and I, we... We came to these isles to uncover its riches. I feared it was too dangerous, so I came along and... was, well, seemingly proven right. How can we help? My son. I suspect he went in search of the second half of the treasure. Please find him and tell me his fate. If you require a reward, you may help yourself to the treasure. It doesn't matter to me anymore. We were sailors once. Left me to seek our fortunes elsewhere. We were so close to succeeding. My boy, I'm so sorry. You believe him? Do you? I think if he was trying to protect his son by abandoning him, he's a pretty bad father. Pretty. When things aren't trying to kill us. <laughs> oh, hey. I have these rune slates. You should finish the etching. See if it reveals anything. Still in one piece after all this time. Unlike Durland's resistance, I suppose. We will take this to him.
out the stuff before we can get through. Hey, that's the other half of the broken moose behind seed we found. We can take it to a mystic gateway. Maybe we'll find sort of combat drops. Find the Noki! Making these things stronger! Rid of those things. Exactly do you keep popping up, little one? Does your boss have you spying on us? No, 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 that wasn't our intention. You must believe me, I am here solely to serve as a guide, but, but only if you want. It's standard procedure. Well, you can rest easy. We'll get these back to Ratatoska. Th thank you. And again, sorry if I offended you. I, I promise I'll be more helpful next time. Jumpy little fellow, huh?
quite the sum there, brother. Are we going to check out the other cache? Hopefully find the ghost's son? We will find only a corpse. You sound sure. Father, look, we can chisel through this door. get a chance to say before. I like your story about the Thane and the Heath Witches. Yeah, we'll just stop there for now. <laughs> Whoa, what? That guy's was huge! Yeah, it should lead us to the key for that watchtower door. get a chance to say before. I like your story about the Thane and the Heath Witches. Set that aside for now. Come. Learn some new items. <laughs> I knew we'd left something behind. Deaths will be painless. Ish. I'll disinfect my tools. Heading off already? Hey, Sindri. So, how was Asgard? I had a fight with Heimdall in a huge field of mud. It got everywhere. No wonder you got out of there. I brought some back if you want to see it. Get away from me, you reprobate! Hello, Atreus. Listening to your father, I hope. <laughs> Good to see you. I 
didn't get a chance to say before. I liked your story about the Thane and the Heath Witches. You really gotta write these stories down one day, Mimir. Well, I try. Jaw tends to get sore, but thank you, lad. Are we going back to the city? Now that I've spent time in Asgard, it's strange to imagine Magni and Modi there. Sif raised them both, right? She seems like a good mom. Maybe a little overprotective. A good mother? Not the Sif I knew. In a culture as debaucherous as the Aesir, being a paragon of womanhood meant being a fierce fighter and a fiercer drinker. She and Thor seldom knew a moment's sobriety, whether brutally dealing with their enemies or just as brutally raising those boys. What do you mean? Oh, little brother. I know you didn't have an easy childhood, but you can't fathom how much worse it can get. Imagine learning discipline by having it thrashed into you, time and again. That was Thor's approach, the same one Odin used on him. A poisonous notion of manhood passed down through generations. A grim inheritance, leaving all of them the poorer. Well, Sif doesn't drink anymore. Neither of them do. I am quietly flabbergasted to hear it. I get the sense it's more recent for him. But I know he loves his daughter. I expect that's the explanation. Sif goes straight and hopes that raising a good daughter will redeem their past failures. Thor struggles. Maybe she gives him an ultimatum after some breaking point or other. Like what he did to Modi that night he found us. Oh, that's a deft guess, lad. And if that ultimatum worked, well, good for them, truly. I hope you're back to clean up the mess that extra head of yours made. We have done it. Doesn't fix what I did, but hopefully it makes things a bit better. Let's be off, brother. Your hammer. Thanks! Might not mean much with Odin's goons stomping around the city, but folks see this and they'll know we haven't completely given up. Not yet. Never expected to see this thing again. Derlin. Kratos! Sorry about earlier. Talking about your wife like that. Do not be. No! Let me apologize. Feeling the old father's spear in your back makes a man want to set things right. Your silence on the matter is enough. Ah, if you say so. You spoke of resistance. Instead, you drink. Oh, I've got plans that you know nothing about. Coming together as we speak. Meantime, I don't plan on my soul pass floating to Alfheim stone cold sober. When the Aesir run me through, I'd rather be too hammered to feel it.
Suppose more violence in the streets will convince the citizenry that it's safe to emerge. Dwarves can do that thing Brock and Cinder do, right? Where they just walk between realms and turn up somewhere else? Indeed, that's a rare skill. I gather one carefully cultivated by some secretive dwarven guild or other. Probably for the best. Them alone doing it is disconcerting enough. staring. You're a tough man not to stare at. If the dwarves had your strength, Odin would have never gotten as far with his place as he did. My strength has little to do with my body. Yeah, sure. do you know of the mask? Only that it was the great passion of Odin's life. He journeyed across Agia's burning ocean into the heart of the silent matron herself to find it. Lost every man in his crew, but to hear him tell it, it was worth all that blood and more. Great. 
Greetings, boys. Good to see you. It's funny, I actually saw Derlin while I was in Asgard. Not in Asgard, but Odin had his ravens take us to Svartalfheim, and Derlin was there. He was actually trying to do his job. We pretended not to recognize each other. At least I think he was pretending. Point is, it looked like Odin didn't know anything about Derlin helping us find here. Hello? Huh. Who's the band? Another Berserker gravestone.
down. Off your back. Sighters.
of the pier. For later! I felt that one, brother. You're mine! Father. Uh, Speak, spirit. Is that? Father. I can't see you. I wasn't quick enough. I'm so sorry I abandoned you. Your father is dead. What? How? He went to find the other half of the treasure without you. He must have been killed trying. It seems that in your efforts to protect one another, you each came to one of these islands on your own, and... I've been such a fool, but thank you for telling me. Perhaps now we can see each other again. How did you know? What? That the son was dead. The boy abandoned his father. In their attempt to spare the other, they both perished. What now? We will retrieve the treasure, then return to the father. What for? Get the sun started. Seems like that water wheel should be powered by something. something up on that island. See that? Perhaps the treasure the spirit spoke of.
You did it, Master Kratos. A spectacular job. Keep it up and you'll become an expert in no time. I can't tell if he was patronizing or if that was just plain sad. Both. Can't get on the lift with that geyser going. Look, there's a gear connected to the gate. Got it. Quite the cash. I see why it meant so much to our lost treasure seekers. Perhaps we should go tell the father what became of his son. hear about it in the first place he said a voice spoke to him one night entreated him to collect the mask and control his own fate i still think it's all a bunch of bollocks odin got drunk convinced himself a wooden mask would solve all his problems and pranced about the realms until he found a sufficiently mysterious bauble to fit the bill mask probably doesn't do anything at all yeah probably <laughs> Oh, 
Father, look! Rune Slate. Now we just need to speak the word. Making! Look, the gate out there is lower. After we forged the spear, Odin appeared. He had Durlin with him, threatening him, as if he knew I would know him. But if Odin knew all along, then while we were pretending not to know each other, he was pretending not to see through us. Man, he really is a good liar. Hello, Atreus. Listening to your father, I hope. Ha! <laughs> Sindri! I'll heat up the forge. No need to think. So, brothers, 
How did you manage to kill Garm anyway? We killed him a few times, actually, but it didn't take. And I figured maybe the way to stop a soulless beast was to give it a soul. So I gave it the one I had on me. I beg your pardon? Fenrir, remember the light Father saw? The accidental magic I did when Fenrir died? That was part of Fenrir's soul going into my knife. Once I figured that out, I just put Fenrir into Garm. <laughs> Clever one, lad! A gigantic hell beast with the soul of a loyal pup. Bloody brilliant! of your son. Oh, please, please, tell me. He went to find the other treasure with the same idea you had. He didn't make it. I'm sorry. No, no, no. This is my fault. He disobeyed your wishes. Yes, because that is what sons do. I should have brought him with me. We'd be alive and rich beyond all reason. Together. Well... Maybe you can at least be together now. Nevertheless, thank you for finding him. I'll seek him out in Helheim. So, the father should have trusted his son more, huh? Interpret their misfortune how you wish. I'm glad they're at peace, at least. Yes. Amir, did you know Garm? How was he locked up to begin with? Ah, Hell's feral sentinel. Well, believe it or not, Midgard was once bigger. Until Garm, then just a wee pup, got peckish. He ate Midgard? Only a few mountain ranges. And the fifth season that comes after winter, but before spring. 
And a word for the feeling when you get so hungry, you stop being hungry. You're messing with me. I would never. Travel to Anaheim. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Anaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, what? It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is there? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for You're herself. still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I owe her. Reminds me of a Vanaheim song I heard long ago. No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. 
Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini. Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh. I am so, so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor and friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, He'd be a fellow giant. Well, Freya mentioned you had a way past this. You don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find they're dead. Good luck. And don't shoot any boar. <laughs> think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a grudge. You <laughs> know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy. <laughs> okay, okay. Point taken. in the air. 
Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. I guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. So does Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir is the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar, married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's okay. <laughs> I can sense them up there. But it's gotta be their den. Excited to meet Skull and Hattie, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain.
Uh, hello? I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. The Aenar Yard played a part according to Skull and Hathi Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildas Vini and the elves, who else is part of Freya's army? Not much army, really. Although Beer Girl was a soldier, once walking the path of a traveler. I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. Traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. There she is again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield.
wall. When I bring it down, we strike. Yep. <laughs> Wait, there's the moon. Uh, well, down there. That's gotta be it. This is definitely an ambush. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Careful, brother. You're covered in my <laughs> Hoping that puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Careful, brother. You're covered in bike rod. Happy! 
Charm. They are not smart. I understand. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? If everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine... Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. Oh, what is that? A wyvern! Nasty beast! Careful, wives! <laughs> 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 from hell on. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. We can return to the den through here. They will pursue. Keep your guard up. Father. How are you so sure we even have a choice about what we're doing? 
Doubt is a weakness we cannot afford. Who said anything about doubt? So far, we've done everything the Giants said we would. We make our own choices. Nothing forces us. into Ragnarok. Isn't there any way to avoid fate? Your fate? What if we can't stop you from... Would you turn your back on the wolves? On this realm? Remember our agreement. The lad does make some good points, though. As long as Atreus lives. So be it. <laughs> Here goes nothing. Just like inside their shrine. If I do this... Fate only binds you if you let it. Do what is necessary. Not because it is written. Slot. They have a gift for us. A way to call them anytime we need them. Remember that altar we saw when we first got here? I think that's where we're supposed to use it. Perhaps Freya will know. So in essence, they just gave us the keys of dusk till dawn. Not bad for a day's work. We should head back to Hildas Fini and tell him about all this. Yeah? Yes. Back to the camp. Wow. This place changes at night. A lot. No less humid, unfortunately. 
Same one from earlier, wasn't it? No. They come back fast. Not that fast. In Asgard, what else did you see of Odin's army? Well, all these Anhuriar we've been fighting, they've already died in battle once. We kill them here, and they'll just wake back up in Valhalla. They never truly die. Should it come to war, we do well to have our own endless army of dead soldiers. You mean Helheim's army, like the prophecy said. It will not come to that. Ah! Oh. 
like the egros. We report back to Hildes Fini. Then what? We came here to help Freya. We will not leave without rescuing her brother and the Light Elf. Okay, but Odin's not gonna stop searching for mask pieces. That is his concern, not ours. Sir, but if that mask offers all the answers... Then it will surely exact a price. Be wary of shortcuts to knowledge. Yes, Father. All the plants here want to kill us? No, no. Only the canapsus ones. Wrinkly mud belongs to Helka. She's a blossinder. Hounds prized for their pinpoint accurate tracking abilities. You'll love her. Kratos, Atreus. That eclipse was your doing, I take it. Thank you for coming. Big Vir used the diversion to escape. What about your brother? We know where they're holding him now. Bale has already prepped the explosives. If you're with me, we can leave as soon as you're ready. I could use another shapeshifter's help. Go with him, Atreus. I will aid Freya. Yes, sir. Your fire blades are looking a little cool. Hand them over. Once you see the signal, tone it down. Oh, hi. Hey, your little one. Well, he's a cutie pie. Should have seen him a couple of winters ago. Ain't even at eye level no more. Oh, you hush. Ain't nothing wrong with a growing boy. It's coming up. And now for the goddess. The Aesir will be running scared. Big man.
Very good. You won't get so much as a paper cut in that. That'll keep your bits in all the right places. gave us a scepter. They will answer, should we call on them. Good. There's a shortcut to Niord's temple we can use in daylight. The Einher Yar are holding fear in your father's own temple. It's been empty for as long as I can remember. There's a celestial altar across the river. According to Bigvir, the altars were once used to signal the wolves. And now we have just the scepter to do it. What is your plan? When we reach the temple, I'll fire off the beacon. A signal for Bela and Birger to set off their distraction. The Dark Elf Hive. Nice to not be on the receiving end of it for once. With their attention drawn elsewhere, you and I can assault the main force from behind. While Atreus and Hildesfiend slip in to rescue your brother in the confusion. Yes. Once we see their beacon, we'll regroup by the river and escape on Freyr's boat. Where are you going? We need to go rescue her brother. Where are you going? We need to go rescue her brother. Oh! <laughs> 
I take it you have notes. This is a trap. I know, and I don't care. I'm getting my brother back. You're...